Cabin Atmosphere Control System. 1. Which section of a turbine engine provides high pressure bleed air to an air cycle machine for pressurization and air conditioning? Low or high pressure compressor. 2. A contaminated oxygen system is normally purged with oxygen. 3. The position of the thermostatic expansion valve in a vapor cycle cooling system is determined by temperature and pressure of the freon in the outlet of the evaporator. 4. In an operating vapor cycle cooling system, if the two lines connected to the expansion valve are essentially the same temperature, what does this indicate? The expansion valve is not metering freon properly. 5. The point at which freon flowing through a vapor cycle cooling system absorbs heat and changes from a liquid to a gas is the evaporator. 6. What controls the amount of oxygen delivered to a mask in a continuous flow oxygen system? Calibrated orifice. 7. The cabin pressure of an aircraft in flight is maintained at the selected altitude by controlling the rate at which air leaves the cabin. 8. The primary function of the cabin pressurization system outflow valve is to maintain the desired cabin pressure. 9. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Low pressure vapor. 10. Refer to figure 13. Determine what unit is located immediately downstream of the expansion valve in a freon refrigeration system. Evaporator coils. 11. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? High pressure liquid. 12. How is the cabin pressure of a pressurized aircraft usually controlled? By an automatic outflow valve that dumps all the pressure in excess of the amount for which it is set. 13. The operation of an aircraft combustion heater is usually controlled by a thermostat circuit which alternately turns the fuel on and off, a process known as cycling. 14. When servicing an air conditioning system that has lost all of its freon, it is necessary to check oil and add as necessary, evacuate the system, and add freon. 15. What component might possibly be damaged if liquid refrigerant is introduced into the low side of a vapor cycle cooling system when the pressure is too high or the outside air temperature is too low? Compressor 16. Before a high pressure oxygen cylinder is serviced, it must be the correct type and have been hydrostatically tested within the proper time interval. 17. When charging a vapor cycle cooling system after evacuation, the low pressure gauge fails to come out of a vacuum. What is indicated? Blockage in the system. 18. What type of oxygen system uses the rebreather bag type mask? Continuous flow. 19. Refer to figure 14. One hour after an oxygen system was charged for a leakage check. The oxygen pressure gauge read 460 pounds per square inch at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Six hours later the temperature was 51 degrees Fahrenheit. A 5 pounds per square inch change is the maximum allowable in a six hour period. Wood pressure gauge readings would be acceptable to remain within the allowable limits. 445 to 450 pounds per square inch. 20. What test is used to determine the serviceability of an oxygen cylinder? Pressure test with water. 21. Where does the last stage of cooling in an air cycle air conditioning system occur? Expansion turbine. 22. Composite oxygen bottles that conform to DOT-8162 have a service life of 15 years or 10,000 filling cycles whichever occurs first. 23. An aircraft pressurization cycle is normally considered to be 
one complete series of events or operations that recur regularly. 24. What unit in a vapor cycle cooling system serves as a reservoir for the refrigerant? Receiver dryer. 25. In a freon vapor cycle cooling system, where is cooling air obtained for the condenser? Ambient air. 26. Oxygen systems in unpressurized aircraft are generally of the continuous flow and pressure demand types. 27. The basic air cycle cooling system consists of a source of compressed air, heat exchangers, and a turbine. 28. 1. Usually bleed air from a gas turbine engine compressor can be safely used for cabin pressurization. 2. Independent cabin condition air machines, air cycle machine, can be powered by bleed air from an aircraft turbine engine compressor. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 29. At which component in an air cycle cooling system does air undergo a pressure and temperature drop? Expansion turbine. 30. When an aircraft's oxygen system has developed a leak, the lines and fittings should be bubble tested with a special soap solution manufactured specifically for this purpose. 31. If oxygen bottle pressure is allowed to drop below a specified minimum, it may cause moisture to collect in the bottle. 32. Frost or ice buildup on a vapor cycle cooling system evaporator would most likely be caused by inadequate airflow through the evaporator. 33. Which is considered a good practice concerning the inspection of heating and exhaust systems of aircraft utilizing a jacket around the engine exhaust as a heat source. Supplement physical inspections with periodic operational carbon monoxide detection tests. 34. To be eligible for recharging, a DOT3HD oxygen cylinder must have been hydrostatically tested every three years and be retired from service after 24 years or 4,380 filling cycles. 35. What controls the operation of the cabin pressure regulator? Cabin altitude. 36. If the cabin rate of climb is too great, the control should be adjusted to cause the outflow valve to close faster. 37. Which of the following are characteristic of a chemical or solid state oxygen system? 2. A volume storage capacity about three times that of compressed oxygen. 3. The system generators are inert below 400 degrees Fahrenheit even under severe impact. 2 and 3. 38. How should you determine the amount of oxygen in a portable, high-pressure cylinder? Read the pressure gauge mounted on the cylinder. 39. A pressurization controller uses barometric pressure, cabin altitude, and cabin rate of change. 40. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it enters the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? High pressure vapor. 41. An aircraft oxygen bottle may be considered airworthy if it has been hydrostatically tested and identified with the test date, DOT number, and serial number stamped on the cylinder near the neck. 42. For use in pressurized aircraft, which is generally the least complicated and requires the least maintenance. Chemical oxygen generator systems. 43. In what position should the bottle be placed when adding liquid freon to a vapor cycle cooling system? Vertical with the outlet at the bottom. 44. If the liquid level gauge in a vapor cycle cooling system indicates a low freon charge, the system should be operated for a period of time to reach a stable condition and then the freon level rechecked. 45. Turbine engine air used for air conditioning and pressurization is generally called bleed air. 46. The cabin pressure control setting has a direct influence upon the 
outflow valve opening. 47. 2. Water in the vapor cycle cooling system will react with refrigerant to form hydrochloric acid, which is highly corrosive to the metal in the system. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 48. The function of the evaporator in a freon cooling system is to lower the temperature of the cabin air. 49. In a gaseous oxygen system, which of the following are vented to blow out plugs in the fuselage skin? Pressure relief valves. 50. In the diluter demand oxygen regulator, when does the demand valve operate? When the user breathes. 51. When refrigerant 12 is passed over an open flame, it changes to phosgene gas. 52. After cleaning or replacing the filtering element in a combustion heater fuel system, the system should be pressurized and all connections checked for leaks. 53. In the combustion heater, combustion air system, what prevents too much air from entering the heaters as air pressure increases? Either a combustion air relief valve or a differential pressure regulator. 54. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it enters the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Low pressure liquid. 55. What is the purpose of a mixing valve in a compressor bleed air air conditioning system? Control the supply of hot, cool, and cold air. 56. In a high pressure oxygen system, if the pressure reducer fails, what prevents high pressure oxygen from entering the system downstream? Pressure relief valve. 57. The primary difference between aviation breathing oxygen and other types of commercially available compressed oxygen is that aviation breathing oxygen has had all the water vapor removed. 58. High pressure cylinders containing oxygen for aviation use can be identified by their green color and the words aviator s breathing oxygen stenciled in one inch white letters 59 one purpose of a jet pump in a pressurization and air conditioning system is to provide for augmentation of airflow in some areas of the aircraft 60 if a high pressure oxygen cylinder is to be installed in an airplane it must meet the specifications of the Department of Transportation. 61. On some cabin pressurization systems, pressurization on the ground is restricted by the main landing gear operated switch. 62. What is used in some oxygen systems to change high cylinder pressure to low system pressure? Pressure reducer valve. 63 which prevents a sudden loss of pressurization in the event that there is a loss of the pressurization source. Delivery air duct check valve. 64. When purging a freon air conditioning system, it is important to release the charge at a slow rate. What is the reason for the slow rate discharge? Prevent excessive loss of refrigerant oil. 65. The function of the condenser in a freon cooling system is to transfer heat from the freon gas to ambient air. 66. The altitude controller maintains cabin altitude by modulation of the outflow valve. 67. What component in a vapor cycle cooling system would most likely be at fault if a system would not take a freon charge? Expansion valve. 68. The point at which freon flowing through a vapor cycle cooling system gives up heat and changes from a gas to a liquid is the condenser. 69. On transport category aircraft, what might be an indication of an overpressure event of the aircraft oxygen system? The green thermal expansion disc missing. 70. The purpose of pressurizing aircraft cabins is to 1. Create the proper environment for prevention of hypoxia. 2. Permit operation at high altitudes. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 
71. What may be used as a lubricant on oxygen system tapered pipe thread connections? Teflon tape. 72. What is ventilating air used for on a combustion heater? Carries heat to the places where needed. 73. The cabin pressurization modes of operation are Differential, unpressurized, and isobaric. 74. The main cause of contamination in gaseous oxygen systems is Moisture. 75. The purpose of a subcooler in the vapor cycle cooling system is to Cool the freon to prevent premature vaporization. 76. Hot compressor bleed air operates the conditioned air system on some turbine aircraft, cold air supplied by the RAM air cycle cooling unit. 77. Hot compressor bleed air operates the conditioned air system on some turbine aircraft, cold air supplied by the RAM air cycle cooling unit. 78. The evacuation of a vapor cycle cooling system removes any water that may be present by lowering the boiling point of the water and drawing out the vapor. 79. What component of a pressurization system prevents the cabin altitude from becoming higher than airplane altitude? Negative pressure relief valve. 80. When checking a Freon system, a steady stream of bubbles in the sight gauge indicates the charges. Low. 81. 1. Oxygen used in aircraft systems is at least 99.5% pure and is practically water-free. Only number 1 is true. 82. How can it be determined that a vapor cycle cooling system is charged with the proper amount of Freon? Air bubbles in the sight glass disappear. 83. The air cycle cooling system produces cold air by extracting heat energy across an expansion turbine. 84. How often should standard weight high pressure oxygen cylinders be hydrostatically tested? Every five years. 85. The purpose of the dump valve in a pressurized aircraft is to relieve all positive pressure from the cabin. 86. The function of an expansion valve in a freon cooling system is to act as a metering device and to reduce the pressure of the liquid freon. 87. When a vapor cycle cooling system is not in operation, what is an indication that the system is leaking freon? Oil seepage. 88. The purpose of the airflow metering and road assembly found in oxygen diluter demand regulators is to regulate airflow in relation to cabin altitude when in diluter demand position. 89. Which best describes cabin differential pressure? Difference between the ambient and internal air pressure. 90. What type of oil is suitable for use in vapor cycle cooling system? Special high-grade refrigeration oil.